In the Turkish countryside, this is wedding season. Ceremonies that go back centuries. Here, tradition is everything. But in this changing country, for many women, that can mean a life of brutal injustice. This young mother's only crime was being pursued by her husband's cousin. After three years being harassed, she complained to his family and they acted. They condemned her to death. They told me, there is a gun in the house and we are going to kill you tonight. You have seen how we killed your sister-in-law. You will be killed in the same way. I have done nothing wrong. They did this to protect the man. She would have been sacrificed to save her in-law's honor. She's still in danger. We've had to conceal her identity. But she's found protection in this women's shelter. Few are so lucky. Turkey wants to join the European Union. It's tightened laws against honor killings. But that seems to have caused a different problem, a rise in honor suicides. To avoid being punished, families are forcing women to kill themselves. Esra, not her real name, married at the age of 15. Her husband was unfaithful and beat her. When she asked for a divorce, her own family told her to commit suicide to clean their honor. My sister said, kill yourself, kill yourself. Your husband and your family disowns you. If I were you, I wouldn't take this for one more second. I would kill myself. But I said to myself, no, I'm not taking this. This is you, the tree. Esra now lives alone without her six children. She paints to try and come to terms with her life. She's a strong woman and didn't give in to pressure to kill herself, but she's the exception. <laughs> the code of honor is steeped in centuries-old rural customs. As people move to the cities, it's colliding with modern values. Here, families have condemned daughters or sisters simply for wearing jeans or talking to a boy. In these poor shanty towns, a hidden suicide epidemic is happening. The problem for police or journalists investigating honor suicides is they are cloaked in a code of secrecy. We're going to visit the family of a girl called Halime who committed suicide in very suspicious circumstances. Halime was 18 when she killed herself with a gun. Her uncle agreed to talk if we hid his face. And Halime's home, he gave her family's version of events. Halime got affected by what she'd seen on television, he told me. She got depressed and killed herself. He says she was an outgoing, sociable, bright 18-year-old. Does he honestly believe that a girl like that would, would kill herself because of what she watched on television? Yes, Yes, that's one reason, he said. Not the only reason, but one reason. He denied what authorities told us. Halime's family made her kill herself for having a boyfriend. No one has been prosecuted for her death. The faces of dead women stare out from activist leaflets and newspapers. But most honor crimes here go unrecorded. In hospitals, doctors say they're seeing more and more on a suicide. Hanging herself uh, on a tree sometimes and uh, jumping uh, from high place and taking uh, some poison and shotguns. Uh, these are the most frequent uh, way uh, for suicides in our region. So you've seen the girls being made to do all those things. Do you think the problem is getting worse here? Yeah? Uh, yes, uh, yes. <laughs> The Turkish government says it's cracking down on honor crimes under pressure from Europe to improve human rights. But for many poor, vulnerable women, the opposite is happening. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News, Southeast Turkey.